Let's play. What's up, guys? Pokemon here with uh, episode. What is this? The freaking thing. 35 of Minecraft Let's Play, and people are already texting me. <laughs> <sighs> it's like people know when I'm gonna film, and they're like, "Let's send all of our text messages now." And so I get like five text messages when I start filming. Today is my drink. I got uh, some creamy root beer from uh, Blue Sky Natural Soda. <laughs> this episode is sponsored by Blue Sky. Now, um, sensational. Just gonna throw that word out there. It's the Minecraft word of the day. Um, which actually reminds me, uh, for, for whatever reason, saying that reminded me of the Everything is Awesome song, the Lego thing. I'll be sure to link that if you guys haven't already seen it. It's, no pun intended, pretty awesome. Um, it was played over the announcements a little while ago. It was pretty nice to hear. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and... As you can see, a lot of stuff is missing. Uh, you'll see why in a second. It's cool, it's good. Nothing to panic over, nothing to panic over. Um, the landscape looks a bit different, you know, um, and so I have succeeded in what I said I was going to do, and I have built a river. I've made, I've done God, essentially, I've become God on this, uh, I'm not just kidding, on this world. No offense to religionists, of course, the river that I made isn't exactly the best, so it's because the game will lag a lot, and when your boat hits something... Guess what? It breaks in just a million pieces, so that's why I've built like five boats. It's pretty ridiculous. But, like, that's how much you have to build, you know? Don't mess this up! Oh no. See? See? It's pretty hard to direct boats now. I, I was able to do it very well in the old days. But uh, now it's just now it's just a pain. But it's still faster going on land, and I still like this, uh, this idea. I've just got to expand this river if I really want to make this a route. Okay, this is... That's not good. They're kind of guarding my exit here. Hold on. Got to come into port over here. And, of course, I get off the frickin' boat, and it breaks. And the squid go. Like, the second I get out to kill them, the squid go. What the heck? It is kind of annoying, honestly. It's like I'm just trying to have a good time. Just trying to be cool, just trying to travel the boats and whatnot. But, yeah, no, once, you get to, once I get to the open sea, everything's fine. So how's your week? How's um, everybody's week been so far? Mine's of course been pretty crazy. Um, what have we done? We're get we're getting into the final stretch of uh, marching band, so that's pretty sad. Ebola is still a thing that we're worrying about. Gotta love that. Not really. Um, I was just watching the RT podcast, and they were saying that people who get Ebola and survive. Because there is a somewhat good survival rate, they become immune to it, so they can't get it again. So what a lot of people are suggesting is anyone who survives Ebola should go help the other patients, you know, in Africa and whatnot, and help quarantine and whatnot. Um, but yeah, no, I'm just glad that I haven't gotten it. Um, I'm I'm looking forward to not getting sick this year at all. That'd be nice. Um. Because I, I, I don't want to miss any days of school. That's sort of my goal this year is to not miss any days of school. So, it'll be interesting. I'm just going to wait till this comes to a stop. And shift. And the boat goes out. I do hate when it does that, honestly. They'll just never get it right, you know? They'll never get boats right. But I still do like that idea that I had, the original idea. So now, thanks to that little uh, adventure, 
I have much more coal, as you can see. I just have a, a lot of coal. Um, you get the uh, the root beer that I'm drinking. Makes me burp a lot, so I apologize in advance for that. Oh, something I have been doing. Um, something I downloaded on my tablet, a little Pokemon emulator, so me and a few friends are playing through that. Gotta love Pokemon. I, of course, have been a fan since third grade, so that was over ten years. Wow. <laughs> it's a long time. Of course, I'm gonna I do this. Oh! Uh, since the most recent trip, I now have enough gold ingots to make a very particular structure that I've been very excited about making for a long time. God. Just messed that up. Burn the fences. I just gotta wait now for this to go. But I can make... Wait for it. Tower of Pimps! <laughs> I can finally make it. I was just so happy because I've waited to make this for a while. I'm really excited about it. And, you know, I'm glad that I can finally do it. Yeah. Let me go ahead and... Oh, right, because I made a... Uh... Oh, do I have a lava bucket? Yes. I have some water bucket. Let me just use those then. Okay. Throw that in there. And we go upstairs. So I put them as like a little island thing surrounded by a few blocks. Let me go ahead and grab some more blocks. So I apologize that I kind of forgot how I did it. I'm trying to go grab a little bit of dirt. This is the first Tower of Pimps that I've ever made, so I'm really happy about it. Got one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Should be right here. It's just a nice, cool little thing that I do. It's fun. God. And then when you miss the water source with your bucket, it's just incredibly annoying. Like, at that point, you just want to go, like, like, basically, god damn it. Like, why does that have to happen? And again, it's the lag of the game, which is just even more annoying. Of course, my mouse keeps going off the screen. It's just, just little things, you know? Just little things. But uh, that's just because the computer is, like, four or five years old at this point. You really can't expect 100% of the time. So... One, two, three, four, hey! Finally did my own Tower of Pimps. <laughs> um, I'm pretty happy about that. I don't know about you. Pretty satisfied. Pretty satisfied with those results. Um, it's obviously more exciting when there are other people in the room besides yourself. It's also more exciting to be a achievement hunter. So, I'm going to go back downstairs. And, uh, yeah. This has been sort of a regroup episode type of thing. Just gotta throw everything in there. Um. Okay. I'm going to. All right, never mind. Um, I actually paused recording a little bit and went to check the recipe for an enchantment table. I need one more diamond. You might be asking, why do I need one more? You have four. You have enough. I don't have any mind obsidian. <laughs> so that's an issue. Um, I do need one more diamond for that to work. So... I'm just trying to think here. Let's 
good to be back on the mainland. You know, it's good to be back in the uh, in the main house and whatnot. You can definitely see that we have explored a significant amount of uh, territory. I still have yet to get rid of that forest over there. I will get to that, I promise. <laughs> um, and you can see patches of water in there, so there's probably a river running through there as well. Um, you can see the river that I made, which is over there. Um, it is pretty small. It's only like one little square off of this map. So that's probably why it's not as effective. I have a second map, I think, don't I? I should. There we are. Oh, yeah. This one. This is actually really detailed. I really like this one. Eventually, it'll have buildings all over. It's going to be pretty cool. As for this map, it just shows my little settlement here. It's like just this tiny little splotch on the earth. It's a little depressing, but, you know, it's kind of the way it works. Humanity is just but a small thing on earth. You think of Earth's relative uh, size and age, and you're talking for like a second. It's hard to imagine that for some people. To imagine humans is just the blink of an eye and the way of the Earth. Because we think we do so much. We really don't. Well, we do, but we don't. How about that? Um, things we build don't normally last. Things we create normally collapse. Um, obviously, there's a lot of examples that counteract that. There are the pyramids, there's the Leaning Tower of Pisa, there's just all sorts of stuff that you know, have lasted throughout the generations, which is good. It's good when things sort of last. Of course, certain people be like, oh, you know, certain ideals are not good, but, um, you know, what makes one ideal better than another? Your subjective viewpoint on it. Just throwing that out there. Um, of course, I know someone's going to be like, well, what about Nazism? Just like, that's that's an extreme. Um, there'll always be extremes in every case. And from that, you get what should not be considered um, by the same rule, essentially. Probably no one understood that. Anyway, <laughs> no offense to you guys. Um, I just, I just know for a fact that, you know, certain people of my audience are not exactly of the smartest, uh, demographic. So, you know, that whole thing. Kick some wheat down, make some bread real quick so I can keep my, uh, hunger bar full. Main reason I want to get an enchantment table is just because I'm, I'm up to that level already. It's kind of, uh, it's kind of annoying that it's kind of just sitting there, not being used. Put this wheat back. I've been singing that for the last little while. Just the Mario theme in general. I've just been sort of, uh, sort of going crazy with a little bit. But, um, yeah, no. Um, it's been good. This week is actually, uh, the middle of the semester. Um, at my school, and so we uh, just we just have tests that count as like what we like to call midterms, essentially. And uh, you know they're not difficult. I'm gonna stop cutting these. You know they're not difficult, especially mine aren't. I've only had one, and that was an English class, which of course is very easy. But yeah, you know, some people have had one hard ones. Um, yeah, you know, good luck to them with the hard classes and whatnot. Once you get senior year in high school, it gets pretty easy. Just trying to think here. As I've read so much in the past few days. Oh! I'm an idiot. I don't even remember to mention this now. Extra life! A few people are rolling their eyes when I said that because I've already mentioned it to them. 
Extra Life is basically a fundraising opportunity to raise money for, you know, sick kids and whatnot. You basically, um, it's basically, the motto is, um, play games, um, save lives, essentially. And, you know, it's for gamers across the country and across the world. You guys can, uh, go ahead and join up. And, um, you know, really, uh, you know, raise some money. Raise some money for, you know, research or medicine or whatever. It's also, I think it does count as a community service opportunity for a lot of people. So if you're looking into that. And, uh, yeah, no, it's just, it's really good to do. Um, I'm doing it, kind of. Um, and it's just going to be a really fun time. I think I'm going to do it every year from now on. Um, so because you do what you're, you do, you do what you enjoy doing, and, you know, by so doing that, other people get cured. So, you know, it's a win-win, essentially. There's some serious issues with this. Alright, um, yeah, I think I mentioned earlier, um, actually before I go to that, just another thing, uh, some of the big teams are Tryon, the guys who do Rift, of course Rooster Teeth, um, they've been doing it basically since it started, um, they were sort of one of the earliest people, I think, Jack is definitely excited about it, um, They're talking about conventions they were going to go to. Um, people are actually sort of worried about Ebola and whatnot now. If, like, if someone who's infected with Ebola goes to a con, everyone there is just going to get it and it'll just spread from there. You can spread things very easily in America, in case you haven't noticed. Things spread pretty easily around here. No one takes any cautionary measures whatsoever. It's kind of weird. But along those same lines, it's what makes us us. Like, America! Guns and freedom! <laughs> Yay for American stereotypes. Not all of us are like that, Europeans. And, you know, Asians and whatnot. Not all of us are like that. Not all of us are, uh... What is it? Redneck? I'm trying to remember all of, like, the American stereotypes. Um... All we drink is Coke. Uh, we all eat McDonald's. Uh, we all own guns. Uh, we're all rednecks, they, the people, that's another American stereotype. Um, of course, Ray introduced that a lot better, but, uh, yeah, some, uh, some American stereotypes, and people, people have asked me, um, you know, whether I consider myself an American or Canadian, because it's kind of tough. Born in Canada, but raised in America. Um, I know one person in particular would put me as an American, because he says I know nothing about Canada. You know... <laughs> Parents kind of grew up there. Well, my dad did. Halfway. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I feel like I connect with both countries. Again, if I had to pick just one, it would be pretty difficult. Uh, simply because both have treated me very well. Both have... Um, really haven't done me wrong. You know, if, if, if you get what I'm saying. Um, I have really nothing against Canada. It's probably fine. Obviously, the political views conflict with my own, but hey, that's fine. As long as we're willing to sit down and to talk about it. You guys know how I feel about that stuff. Um, I can sit and talk about it all day. Politics and whatnot. There might be a day where I do that, where I just go off on a political tangent for like 20 minutes. But I was talking with my dad a little bit earlier, actually about 30 minutes ago. I was basically saying that I'm losing interest simply because it's just all the same thing over and over and over again. I don't think I can trust any of them. I think it's a feeling that a lot of Americans have where they're starting to lose faith in their government. Um, apparently that's a thing that happens regularly. People lose faith in their faiths. Faith! There we go. Um, in their government. And so that's what causes revolts and whatnot. But at the same time, 
they they're not exactly working to counteract that. You know, like they're not exactly working to try and bring the confidence back. They're just sort of like, okay, we'll do what we want. <laughs> At least the elite is, I should say. Now I'm trying to remember how to make an anvil. I can't remember. I guess it's just three of these. And then like this? No. I'm gonna try to figure this out. Like that? No, like that? Like that? No. No. Maybe it's like this? No. Okay. Yes, I looked it up. Leave me alone. I can't remember everything. So I don't know why I got cobblestone out. That's not even what I need to do. That's what it is. Okay. Shut up, I'm tired. I got three hours of sleep last night. Which I must sound great for that, actually. I was just basically... I had texted someone about 10 o'clock. I'm like, just drinking my first can of Mountain Dew. They're like, what do you mean you're first? So I basically... Because I found an excuse to buy a whole case of Mountain Dew. So I was able to use that to stay up pretty late. Uh, did some RuneScape stuff. Did some other... I would say homework stuff, but that'd be a lie. I really didn't do any homework stuff. Now my armor's all repaired. Yay! Um, yeah, that'd be a lie. I didn't do any homework stuff. Um, pretty bad about that. Don't have senioritis yet, but it's definitely... I hope it's not, like, gonna... I hope it's not heading to me. Like, I hope it's not gonna just smack me in the face and be like, Hello! I'm here now! You get to deal with me. But, um... You know, you never know. So I think with that... Um, I'm going to wrap this thing up. Again, Extra Life, October 25th, October 26th, 8 a.m. to 8 a.m. I just sort of wanted to have this video as like a little update slash Extra Life throwback slash whatever. I wanted to get back to my main place so then I could start working here again. Hopefully I can build some stuff. You know, that'd be great. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next video, which be, what, this Sunday? Yep. All right. Ooh, let's stop.